Hey everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the next installment in Software Sunday. Now, those of you who are familiar with me, you'll know that I use Silhouette Studio to design for both my vinyl cutter and my Glowforge. So I am going through just the basics of Silhouette Studio for all of you guys so you can either learn how to simplify your process learn how to use the software, or just see some cool tips and tricks that I may know for you. So the first part in this series is we're gonna talk about how you can save your files as an SVG, which allows you to bring in your files into your Glowforge software. So before I get started, just go ahead and make sure if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, it helps out my channel. And if you like this video, even if it's just a little bit, hit that thumbs up, it helps my channel out and it helps tell YouTube that you want to see more of my stuff. And while you're at it, I'd love to see a comment from you to let me know what you thought or some videos you'd like to see in the future. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I am in my Silhouette Studio software. I have this cute little giraffe design. Now this is all for um, an example. I'm not actually making this project. I just wanted to show you what I'm working with. So before I do anything else with the design, I need to talk to you about Silhouette Studio itself. Now Silhouette Studio is a software that is made to work with the Silhouette Cameo Cutter or the portrait if you do have the smaller one. It has a free version that anyone can download. Um, one thing to keep in mind about Silhouette Studio is that you do not need to own the machine to use the software. It is open to everyone and there are different types of upgrades that you can use with it. Silhouette Studio Basic Edition is simply for people who have the cutter. They're not really gonna do much of their own designing and they're going to get si designs from the Silhouette Design Store. I recommend at the very least, if you don't have a Glowforge, to have Designer Edition. Designer Edition allows you to bring in SVG files in addition to a couple different design functions, but the SVG file is most important because you can get files from other people, get them from design bundles, this design is from design bundles, and it gives you more freedom. Now, if you are a Glowforge user, or if you use other types of cutters, like for example, you want the functionality of Silhouette Studio, but you want to cut with your Cricut still, you want to get Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Now, my personal preference is that you should always get Business Edition. It's just got the most features. It has a lot of robust uh, functionality, and you only pay a one-time fee. So you're not going to pay a recurring cost. You're not gonna to have to upgrade again. You, you buy Business Edition one time and you have all the features and then you'll have all the features that will be added in the future. So I highly recommend it. I have a link in my description where you can buy it. And if you do have Designer Edition and you need to move to Business Edition, when you get the upgrade, you only pay the difference. So every, everyone wins. So I have this file in here. So this little giraffe is from Design Bundles. I'll link it in the description for you. And I just typed out a little name and this would be essentially like a round sign. So let's say this is something that I'm going to cut the circle and I'm going to engrave the giraffe in the name. Now uh, Glowforge will read your different functions. So cut, engrave, score, all that different stuff as different line colors. So you wanna differentiate your line colors if you're going to cut and engrave, or I also have some projects where I've done varying levels of engrave, so I have a lighter section and a darker section, but you want to read it in as different line colors. So we'll leave this circle red, that'll be our cut line, and then I'm gonna grab my name and giraffe and go right here to the top left. This is my quick access toolbar. I'm gonna to change it to black, so you can see we have that right there. So now we're all set to go. Now this is uh, more useful when you're exporting. Take your mouse and grab your entire design. You see that right here? And we'll go to File, Save Selection, and Save the Hard Drive. So we're saving selection so it only saves the design. If you do a normal save, it will actually save this entire square. And it's not the end of the world, I just don't like doing it. So we're gonna go through and go to Save to Hard Drive. And this window will pop up, here's just my downloads. But what you'll do is you'll name it and then you'll change it right here to SVG. So you have your giraffe SVG and I'm going to save it. So there you go. That's the basic way to save as an SVG. I'm gonna pop into Glowforge and show how I uploaded it. But essentially that's all you really need to know for the first session. So let me jump up and I'm going to go to um, Glowforge and I'll see you in just a second. Here I am in my dashboard. I'll go to create, upload from file. 
So now I just need to find this in my download. So here it is, draft SVG file, open. And so this is going to process, it's gonna you know, bring in the file. And I wanna show you before we end this video, the different line colors and how that shows up. So you can see over here, we can enter our settings. So here's my draft and my words. I can engrave it and let's just say, just for the fun of it, I'll do my birch settings. Those are 500 precision power 50. So you can see we have birch. So you can see our design is filled in now. And then you can click right here for enter settings. And then we have cut and we'll do birch as well. So you can see they look different. This looks filled in and this looks right there. And you can see each one of these lines, line colors will show up as a function right here. So this is also important if you need to only cut part of it. So let's say you're gonna switch out the names in your design. You can bring it in as one file and then go right here and ignore the line colors for that name. And then one last thing before I let you go, this right here shows the order that things will happen. So I always like to engrave before I cut, so you would just click and drag where it needs to be. So right here, this would actually cut first. I don't want that, so I'll go ahead and drag it down, and we have that all set to go. So that's it guys. That's a really basic software Sunday for you guys. I'm trying to go through and just show you all the basics of Silhouette Studio. So hopefully it's just a quick little thing, something to make your process a little bit easier and something to get you ready to get a Glowforge. So if you're thinking about getting a Glowforge, make sure you click the link in my description. You can save up to $500 on a new machine and leave me a comment. Let me know if this was helpful, what other videos you'd like to do and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.